Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs on National Income Accounting for your upcoming UGC NET or SET in Economics. And if you have, if you want to join our crash course in Economics, here you will get complete theory lectures, complete MCQs lectures. You will get mock test on entire syllabus with solution PDF. Then you will get notes on all the units. Practice MCQ set is available. If you want to join, you can contact this number. And also you can download global online app from Play Store. If you just search global online in Play Store, you, uh, you can download it by going through this logo. Then you can search UGC Net Economics Paper 2. Then you can access all the material from app also. Videos, notes, MCQ, PDFs, mock tests, everything you can access through this app. So let us move to the questions. Here the first question is which of the following is a transfer payment so transfer payment means you know here the government is going to pay money for the uh, citizens for nothing it means in return they won't get any good or service so option a payment made to housewife option b pocket allowance to children option c maintenance allowance to old parents option d all of the above Yes, here uh, payment made to the housewife, pocket money to the children, maintenance allowance to the powered parents, all these are known as the transfer payment. So option D, all of the above is the correct answer. So transfer payment means it is a redistribution of income and wealth by means of the government making a payment without goods or services being received in return so in return the government will not get anything for these transfer payments and these transfer payments are considered to be non-exhaustive because they don't directly absorb resources or they are not going to create output directly the next question is the difference between gross domestic product and net domestic product equals option a transfer payments option b depreciation cost option c indirect taxes option d subsidies so here the difference between gdp and ndp that equals depreciation cost because when we are going to calculate ndp ndp equals to as we all know gdp ndp is equal to gdp minus depreciation cost so the net domestic product equals the gross domestic product minus depreciation on a country's capital goods and net domestic product accounts for capital that has been consumed over the year in the form of housing vehicle or machinery deterioration question number three double counting must be avoided when calculating national income yes because we, we have to avoid the double counting while calculating national income otherwise it will lead to overestimation so this means that there must be a deduction of the value of option a food subsidies option b personal consumption of alcoholic drinks option c transfer payments option d net interest from abroad so here dub, uh, double counting must be avoided when calculating national income this means that there must be deduction of transfer payment so if we deduct the transfer payment then we can try to avoid the double counting problem so double counting means counting the value of the same product more than once so in the calculation of the national income the value of the final goods and services produced by the uh, production unit of a country during a year are counted so while calculating national income we are going to add the total value of all goods and services so for this we should be uh, we, are, we are going to avoid the value of intermediate goods if we add the value of intermediate goods then it will lead to double counting the next question is when gross investment is positive nest investment option a is the highest option b is zero option c is positive option d can be either positive or negative so when gross investment is positive net investment can be either positive or negative so the difference between gross investment and net investment is the consideration of depreciation the next question is which one of the following is a transfer income option is a salary of, MP, of an mp 
ऑप्शन बी कंपनी डिविडेंड्स टू शेयर होल्डर्स ऑप्शन सी रेंट्स फ्रॉम हाउस ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी ऑप्शन डी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अलोमेंट जस्ट नो यू आर स्टडी अबाउट द ट्रांसफर पेमेंट दैट इज ट्रांसफर इनकम इट इज द इनकम पेड बाय द हेड बाय एनी गवर्नमेंट टू द सिटीजंस फॉर नथिंग मींस गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट रिसीव एनी गुड्स और सर्विसेज इन रिटर्न सो हियर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अलोमेंट इट इज नोन एज द ट्रांसफर पेमेंट so transfer income refers to any income which a recipient receives without receives without providing any good or service or any type of asset in return question number 6 double counting has the effect of option a underestimating national income option b overestimating national income option c distorting national product option d misleading conclusions about national income yes here the right answer is option b double counting has the effect of overestimating national product yes double counting refers to counting the overall cost of production at each level of the production and adding up all the cost together to estimate the price of the product means the value of one product we are going to uh, count it more than once and the, the effect of double double counting it is going to create the problem of overestimation of the national income question number 7 a certain part of corporate business income gets gets into the calculation of personal income which is that yes a certain part of corporate business income gets into the calculation of personal income that is option a government transfer payments option b social security payment made by firms option c dividend option d none of the above here the right answer is option c dividend is the right answer dividend means as you all know dividend means it, it is a distribution of profits by corporation to its shareholders so dividend dividend means it is a distribution of profit by the corporation to its shareholders and when a corporation uh, corporation is going to earn profit or surplus it is uh, it is able to pay a proportion of the profit to its shareholders it is known as the dividend question number 8 net exports are negative when option a net investment is positive option b exports are exceeded by imports option c exports exceed private transfer to foreigners option d uh, imports are exceeded by exports so here net ex net exports are negative when imports are greater than the exports yes a country with a trade surplus receives more money from a foreign market than it spends this is good for the country but when a negative net export figure is trade deficit for a given country it means that when the overall the overall value of the country's imports uh, is greater than the overall value of the exports then it is going to create a uh, neg uh, neg uh, net exports are negative the next question the important leakages in the circular flow of income or has follows expect except one which option a saving option b imports option c government expenditure option d taxes so the the important leakages in the circular flow are saving it is also leakage to the national income imports leakage to the circular flow of income taxes are also leakages so here except government expenditure remaining three are leakages of circular flow of income the next question is which one of the following measures does not include final goods and services option a gnp option b nnp option c disposable income option d national income so which one of the following measures does not include final goods and services so as we all know in national income gnp nnp all these are included in this final goods and services are included but when it comes to disposable income it is the amount available for the spending so in disposable income final goods and services are not included so disposable income means it is the total personal income minus current income taxes so if we deduct the amount taxes uh, then we will get disposable income this 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 income can pay, this income can be spent according to the wish of the people so in national in national account definition personal income minus personal current taxes equals to the disposable income question number 11 
नेशनल प्रोडक्ट एट करेंट प्राइजेस इज हायर देन दी नेशनल प्रोडक्ट एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्राइजेस ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ ऑप्शन ए राइजिंग प्राइजेस ऑप्शन बी फॉलिंग प्राइजेस ऑप्शन सी स्टेबल प्राइजेस ऑप्शन डी चेंजिंग कॉस्ट सो नेशनल प्रोडक्ट एट करेंट प्राइज द नेशनल इनकम इज हायर देन दी नेशनल प्रोडक्ट एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्राइज ड्यूरिंग इज वाई द नेशनल प्रोडक्ट इज इंक्रीजिंग हियर एट करेंट प्राइस बिकॉज ऑफ द इनफ्लेशन सो राइजिंग प्राइजेस ऑप्शन इज द राइट आंसर सो नेशनल प्रोडक्ट एट करेंट प्राइजेस इज हायर देन द नेशनल प्रोडक्ट एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्राइस ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ राइजिंग प्राइजेस दैट इज इनफ्लेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व द परचेज ऑफ ए न्यू होम इज इंक्लूडेड इन द जी एन पी हैज अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑप्शन ए कैपिटल कंजम्पन अलोवेंस ऑप्शन बी पर्सनल कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर ऑप्शन सी इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑप्शन डी पर्सनल सेविंग सो द परचेज ऑफ न्यू होम इज इंक्लूडेड इन जी एन पी हैज अ पार्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इस कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ए न्यू हाउस विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन द नेशनल इनकम हैज इट इज पार्ट ऑफ कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू लीड टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन द हिंदू रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ इज सो एयर फोर ऑप्शन सर गिवन लेट ऑप्शन ए रेपर्स टू ग्रोथ ऑफ हिंदू पॉपुलेशन ऑप्शन बी इज द टर्म यूज बाय राज कृष्णन टू रिप्रेजेंट द नेचर ऑफ द ग्रोथ ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एट अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट पर ईयर ऑप्शन सी इज द टर्म बाय अमार्थे सेन टू रिप्रेजेंट द नेचर ऑफ द ग्रोथ ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एट अराउंड थ्री ऑप्शन डी इज द टर्म यूज बाय वी के आर वी राव to decide the nature of the growth of the indian economy around 4% here the right answer is option b the hindu rate of go hindu rate of growth is the term used by raj krishnan and it is going to represent the nature of the growth of indian economy at around 3.5% so the hindu rate of growth was a term used uh, to indicate the low growth rate of the indian economy around uh, for more than 3 decades between 50 to 80s and during that time the average growth of gdp was 3.5% question number 14 uh, assertion and reasoning assertion is transfer earnings are not to be included in the national income estimation this transfer uh, earnings are not included in the national income reason is transfer earnings are not payments for factor services yes this is correct so here both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion because transfer earnings are not going to include in the national income that is because transfer earnings are not payments for the factor services Question number fifteen. Assertion is banking sector's contribution to national income is zero. Reason is by the usual method of calculation, the net factor payment in the banking sector amounts to zero. So here A is false here because what assertion is saying, banking sector's contribution to national income is zero. This is completely wrong. But reason is correct by the usual methods of calculation. The net factor payment in the banking sector amounts to zero. Reason is true, but assertion is false. Okay, friends, this is about today's session. If you want to join our uh, crash course in UGC NET or CERT in Economics 2022, here you will get complete theory lectures, complete MCQ lectures, entire syllabus, mock test, notes on all the units, practice MCQ set. If you want to join, you can contact us, or you can also download Global Online app from Play Store. I wish all the best to all. Thank you.